YouTube, what's up, man? I'm here with a Madden video. This is straight gameplay, but this is different. This is actually house rules, man. If you guys know, Madden definitely implemented these house rules. I'm going to say maybe two months ago. Something for us to play in the beginning of the week. Get really good rewards. That's the best part, man. If you win 10 games of it this, this week, you get a 97 overall. I was able to pull Derwin James from that pack, man. If you want to watch any of these games live, the Twitch link is below in the description. Also, man, follow me on Instagram. That link is below. I'm trying to continue to grow that so I can go ahead and post things on there, really spread it, my business and my Madden abilities around every social media platform. So I appreciate you guys hitting that follow on the Instagram for me, man. But this is uh, house rules. And they made it mud draft this week, which is really cool, man. Everybody's pretty much going to have the same team. And another thing they did is where you can actually quit out of the old season so you can get back into a fresh team so you don't have to play with one of the old teams you might have had from a previous previous draft. Now, the rules this week, if you guys know house rules are crazy, sometimes they say a touchdown, a passing touchdown from 50 yards out is, you know, 12 points, whatever it may be. But the rules this week are it's only two downs. So second down is fourth down, but it's first and five. So you have to play, uh, the strategy is way different in this mode. As you see here, I get a first down. You pretty much got to be really careful with your first downs because second down is fourth down. So you're going to see a lot of punts and kicks on second down if you don't get it. As you see here, I'm just taking my checks down. But at that time, he drops the ball. So I get to a second and five, which is fourth down pretty much. But I go back to O.J. Howard. This is the team builder, O.J. Howard, 90 speed, really a beast in draft champions, man. You see him just playing the hard flats. Or the cloud flat, so I'm going to throw him the knee. But O.J. Howard dropped it again. He has Jamal Adams out there in that flat. Get him to a third down. Try to go up top over here, and it goes over top of Tyler Lockett's head. Had a touchdown, but that was second down, so I turned the ball over on downs. First down, hit stick. What's he? Now he has a decision. He's going to punt, and he's not going to give me the ball right back in field goal range. That's one thing, man. If you guys are playing this mode to get your 97 overall, or even this is a great way to get coins, man. you got to know when you should punt and when you should kick. Here I go with first down. I have nothing open. Not, there is no Michael Vick in this mode. As you see, my Deshaun Watson got chased down and got sacked. I'm going to go ahead and roll out here. Able to escape the escape 57. Now, I think of Lorenzo Alexander. Barely escape him. You see, the quarterback's not super fast in this mode. I think this mode is awesome right now. I playmaker that guy up right back in the coverage. Almost do a pick right there. My Odell Beckham. I get to another fourth down already, man. I have to make the right read. Underneath the Howard, hit stick, doesn't make it. So I turn the ball over on downs. I pretty much give him a field goal. He goes up top. Malik Hooker, man, <laughs> did not make a play on that ball. D.D. Westbrook mossing him for the touchdown. Now going down 7 nothing, man. Getting seven points in this mode is really big because, you know, you only got to stop somebody one play pretty much. I go up top and he lurks me right there. Really just two receivers in the same spot. A tough throw, man. I got to keep going underneath. But he does go ahead and hit this little slant right here. Gets the first down. It's hard to keep going underneath, man. You want to make some big plays. You only have one down, really. And his first down throws underneath. Hooker bounces off. Gets me to gets him to a sh second and short, which is fourth down. Bang, hit it. There you go. Justin Simmons hits thick. Turnover and downs. I got the ball right back. That's the thing. You're able to get stops in this mode. And getting stopped, getting sacked is huge. Because now, instead of second and 16, it's really fourth and 16. I got a punt. You know, I don't want to give him any free points. Great punt right there. Punted that ball <laughs> something like 60 yards. But he finds a little needle right there. Goes ahead. Hey, he got O.J. Howard, too, up there in the seam. First and five again, man. I'm really sending a lot of pressure at this guy. He starts mixing in flat routes, which definitely opens up his offense, allows him to move the ball a little bit more. You'll see it again here. I cover the middle. He hits the flat. I'm blitzing a lot of people. And you see Malik Hooker with the hit stick. I'm blitzing a lot of people, so I don't have that many people in coverage. Hits the flat again. He's killing me in the flat. The second half dwindling down. I know I can get the ball back plenty because all I got to do is stop him once. Here he throws over the middle of the field. Definitely kind of popping me a little bit right now. Just mixing in. But we stop him there. We're able to call our timeout. He's going to kick a field goal here because it's fourth down. So I'm definitely going to get the ball back. Have to score some points before the half. He gets the ball at half, man. I, I, I could pretty much get this ball twice because of this new, new rule set up. There we go underneath. O.J. Howard, get out of bounds. Stop the clock, man. I can go down here, get a field goal, then get the ball back and maybe get another field goal. Hit the flat again right there. O.J. Howard. Oh, that's actually Odell, I believe, 13. Getting out of bounds for me. Next play, do it again. I should have hit it again, but I was <laughs> a little bit greedy. Ran out. Playmaker on back. Oh, it's Nelson Aguilar, my other 13. Used one of my timeouts. 32 seconds left. Can I make a play? This time I try to scramble and just... He's just not Michael Vick. 
Especially, man, when you guys get used to using Michael Vick. And this is a tough spot for me because I want to go for this, but at the same time, I don't want to turn the ball over to him. So I figure if I snap this ball around 10 seconds and I throw the ball, he might get the ball back here with six seconds so he won't be able to get one play and a field goal. But the worst thing happens to me that I, you know, I really just want to milk a little bit, but he gets that free loop around the edge, sack. I don't even get an incompletion. Don't even advance the ball. He's right in field goal range almost. Throws the flat route here. Gets himself in field goal range, man. Huge error there to give up three by myself right there. 13 nothing and a half, and he gets the ball, man. But with this two-down situation, I know I can get plenty of stops, man. It's going to encourage me to keep playing defense. I'm going to be able to get some stops. I'm going to be able to continue to move the ball. But I have to, you know, get some big plays. I can't keep dumping it down because if you drop one pass, man, now you're at fourth and five. So I definitely got to go ahead and find a way to manufacture a big play down the field. He's playing a lot of basic cover two or cover three. Nothing at all fancy. No, <laughs> Nothing I haven't seen before. Here's a, what a laser throw first play out of the half. Bang. On verticals. Gets a big play right there. First and five. Goes in the flats again. Deion Sanders with the hit stick. O.J. Howard getting hit. Next play, screamer. He gets sacked. Turnover on downs. My ball again. So, fellas, let's go down here and get some points. Dump it off to Fournette, put my shoulder in his chin. Second down, so it's a fourth and three. Got to make a read here. Got to find somebody. And like I said, man, Deshaun Watson, the quarterbacks in Mutt Draft aren't as fast as Michael Vick. A lot easier to play defense, and I get a huge sack on first down there. That forces him to punt the ball, try to pin me back. And, I mean, he does that pretty well with a nice bounce, but I catch it with Lockett. Man, I wish my, I wish my players really caught the punt every time. And a lot of times let it bounce at the 15 and it'll go into the end zone, or it won't go into the end zone. Next play, first down, big throw up top to Beckham. That's what I'm talking about, manufacturing some big plays. I got to keep, you know, find a way to get a big play. Underneath right here, OJ Howard, out of bounds, man. Got to get that first down pretty much every time you run a play on first down. It's going to get tough. OJ Howard again, but I want to go up top over here. OJ Beckham, OJ Beckham, yeah. Odell Beckham, OJ Howard, those are the guys catching the ball. Curl route right here. Aguilar does not hold on to the ball. I get greedy here. Go for it. Should probably kick my field goal. And I, my low ball just goes right into the ground. I felt like, man, I felt like that was open. But, you know, the throw went into the ground. First down, hit stick, man. And he's going to punt again. So I'm telling you, no matter how much you're down in this mode, you can definitely get the ball back, really extend the game. And because of it, it's only three-minute quarter game. But you can really extend it. Hitting Tyler Lockett right here. Bang, hits the Should have got out of bounds. Try to slow down the clock a little bit because the clock need a lot of clock to come back in this game. Take another big sack right there. Should probably kick this field goal too. If I would have kicked the field goal earlier and then this field goal, I'd be sitting pretty. Should have highballed that. A regular pass allowed it to get swatted. If you learn anything in Madden 19, highball the ball and <laughs> you'll have a better chance of catching the football. He's going to milk some clock here. Gets a first down. I'm able to blow up base. I'm going to use a timeout. I wouldn't use a tie, maybe down two scores, but a lot of times in a real game, I don't like using my timeouts before the two-minute warning. Of course, this guy is Peter the punter and just puts me all the way on the one-yard line, but it's okay. I'm going to move in the pocket well, control it, bang, lock it, doesn't hold on. Jamal Adams in the flats, man. Use your big hitters in the flats. Plays like that could happen. Next play, we're going to have the same thing. This time, Tyler Lockett catches it. Doesn't get out of bounds, though, so I'm trying to get another playoff. All I want to do is get a playoff here. I got to extend the game. Uh, getting out of bounds right there would have been huge because it would have stopped the clock, allowed me to play off. I'm rushing to the line, ready to snap anything as long as I can get a playoff, and it doesn't let me get a playoff. So definitely didn't use the, the two-minute warning to my uh, best of my advantage. But here we go. We throw it up top. Tyler Lockett, too fast for his linebacker right there. Another big play, 30 yards, first and five again, man. Let's just throw this needle over the top, and, of course, Tyler Lockett's going to fumble. But my fat guy's hustling catches the ball or recovers the ball first down got to make some plays here man just throw it underneath get my yards got to score a touchdown here hopefully uh before the minute is up throw the crossing route here tyler lock come back and catch it drops it fourth down man i don't get this the game's over curl route right here bang aguilar holding on to it this time man i'm telling you, you should really high ball that first down First and five, going for the crosser. Lockett catches it. No hit stick there. Holds on to a touchdown. So now I'm only down six, man. I don't have to onside kick. All I have to do is stop him one time, and it's going to be okay. I'm going to get the ball back. Bang, we're going to send the blitz. He's in trips tight end, man. We're going to 
Setting extra pressure off the edge. Blitz off the right two. Sack Clay Matthews. Use my timeout. 47 seconds. He's going to punt the ball. Giving me a chance, man. You can always fight. Loving this mode right now. Loving playing this way, man. It's definitely different from normal men. All right, so I got to score, and I got to make sure I get out of bounds if I can. Roll out. Plenty of time over here. Hit Beckham. Get inside the 30-yard line. Out of bounds. Stop the clock. One timeout. Next play. First and five. Lucky I didn't get intentional grounding there. Rolled out a little bit to the left. Probably got out the pocket there. Second and five. Fourth down, essentially. Hit this little curl route in between the cover three zones. Holds on. Calls the timeout. 24 seconds. First and five. Looking for somebody, man. I hit the flat route. Great animation. Odell Beckham out of bounds. Another first down. We're going to look for this tight end corner route. Or we're going to look for two curls in between the zones. Boxes up everything pretty well, man. Go for the high ball out here. Just don't have the receivers to catch that. Fourth and goal. Here we go. We got to find somebody. I'm looking for a curl on the right. I'm looking for high balls on the left. If it's cover two or cover three. From the initial snap, I read cover three. Able to hit this high ball pass lead. Nowhere, really. Just high ball in the coochie spot. Touchdown against the cover three. He's going to call timeout. Try to ice my extra points. So that's what. You only get two chances in this mode, man. And I went down the field. Two drives in a row to go ahead and take touchdowns, to go ahead and take this lead. But I got to make this extra point. Definitely icing it is the right move. If it was 30 seconds, I wanted to use both my timeouts. But 12, you don't need three timeouts. Might try to ice me. And, of course, I wouldn't put this YouTube video up if I missed the kick. Of course not. I made the kick. 14-13. Pretty much game over, man. So that's what I'm telling you. This mode is awesome. It's way different than normal Madden. And right now, as long as house rules up, it's a great way to make coins. You can make 40K as I bring the crib right there on first down. Knocks the ball away. You can make upwards of 20K, a bunch of tokens. Sack on second down, which is fourth down. Turn the ball over on downs. Game is over. GG's in the chat. GG's in the description, man. I really like house rules. I said this mode is way different than any other mode where you can play this year. Takes a little bit more strategy. Definitely more involved as far as thinking. Definitely think way different than normal games. And because of that, I was able to fight back, come up with some clutch dots to go ahead and take this win. Please hit the like button. Please comment on what you think about house rules this year. You think it's good. You have fun playing it. And which mode of house rules is your favorite?